Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Madam Huzaika and my group mate is Miss Holly. For today, we would like to explain our experiment, experiment at, uh, with the title Heat Capacity of Metals. So, for this experiment, we have two objectives. First is to determine the heat capacity of calorimeter. So, this is our calorimeter. Next, uh, objective is to measure the specific heat capacity for aluminium, iron and brass. So, we have three types of metals here. So, before we start, I would like to introduce the whole equipment that we needed for this experiment. So, first is we need this calorimeter. And please make sure this is the, uh, the inside. And this is the lid, the metal. Next, we need this glass beaker. Uh, Bunsen burner with the stand retort. Mm, thermometer here. Please be careful to handle this thermometer. Next, we need lighter. Lighter. Glass beads. So this is the glass bead. So please carefully to handle this and put back inside the bottle after the experiment. Next, we need this uh, stopwatch to measure the time. And okay, the barometer to measure the pressure uh, at our room. And next, the most important, we have three types of metals. This is aluminium. This is iron and this is brass. Okay, to handle our beaker because this is too hot, so this is the most important thing. You should use this glove. Wear this glove. Thank you. Hi everyone. So I will continue on the procedure for first objective. Your first objective is supposed to be to find the heat capacity of this calorimeter. With the theoretical value is 66. So to find that one, you have to use this table on your books with the page of 64. Before start everything in your table, make sure that you record the first table of this data. You have to record the mass of the empty calorimeter. Mass of empty calorimeter means there is no water or metal in your calorimeter. The second one, you have to uh, record the mass of the calorimeter with the water. With these two values, you will get the mass of the water. After that, you have to record the temperature of the calorimeter before you put every, anything in your calorimeter. Which means the temperature of this calorimeter is supposed to be similar with the room temperature. Last but not least, you will record the temperature of your hot water, which in this experiment, it is suggested that your hot water is heated until 50 degrees Celsius. So, in this first objective, I have ready my water here. This is the water with room temperature with 250 milliliter of volume. And this is, this is my heat, hot water with the highest temperature. The current temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. So, first and foremost, I will take my water with room temperature, put it inside the calorimeter. Close it and record the temperature until 300 seconds. Now, there is a caution here. Make sure when you record the temperature inside, please make sure that the base of this thermometer is not in contact with the metal inside. So after 300 seconds, take out this water inside Pour it on your glass beaker. Make sure there is no water left in your calorimeter. And after that, by using these gloves and also this piece of clothes here, pour inside the hot water inside your calorimeter. Close it and continue your readings from 330 seconds until 660 seconds. That's it. 
So this is the second part of this experiment. The objective of this second experiment is to, de to determine the specific heat capacity for three types of metal, which is your aluminium, your iron, and your brass. Before start with this procedure, make sure to record all, the, all of this on your first table, which is the mass of empty calorimeter. You already record this on the first part of the experiment. And then you have to record the mass of the calorimeter with water. You have to record the mass of the water, which is you will obtain this one from these two results. Last but not least is very important. You have to record the mass of the test piece. You can measure all the test piece by using this wet scale provided here. Now, to start with this experiment, I have two water, two beaker with water here. With each of these is 250 milliliter, and with the room temperature, you will uh, put inside all the glass beads on the first uh, beaker and put inside the metal the purpose of this glass beads is to protect your metal to interact with your glass uh, your beaker here so put inside your big metal place it on your big uh, on your stand uh, retort stand here heat it up for 10 minutes while waiting for 10 minutes you have to put the other beaker with water inside your calorie meter close it as usual and start your reading start your record of the reading for the changing of temperature inside from 0 second to 300 seconds Now, as this boil to, fifth, uh, to 10 minutes, put it out, put out your fire. With this glove, bring down your beaker. Be careful with the hot water. Place it here. Open your calorie meter. Bring out the heat metal, dry it up a little, and put inside the calorie meter. And continue your readings once again by using this thermometer from 330 seconds until 660 seconds. Repeat this procedure for the other two metals, and that's it for the second objective. Now we will proceed with the calculation for objective one. So since you have tabulated all the data here, so please plot graph temperature versus time. Okay, so the graph will look like this. So you will have two lines, line one, then drastically increase temperature, then line two. This line one is the temperature of water from uh, 0 second until 300 second. So this one is temperature uh, 330 second until three, uh, 660 second. So from this graph, you have to determine the theta M. This is the mixing temperature. So to get this one, you have to draw a straight line to connect line 1 and line 2. So this high point is the mixing temperature. Okay, after you determine the mixing temperature, then you have to substitute the whole value here into equation 7 at page six, uh, 61. So this is the equation. The CK is the specific, uh, the heat capacity for calorimeter, CW the heat capacity for water, this is the constant, 4.187, 
Then MW is the mass uh, of water. This one is 250 ml. You have to convert to gram. Then theta W is the water temperature. The hot temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. Theta M you get from this graph over theta M minus theta K is the temperature of calorimeter. Then after you, cal uh, after you calculate the CK, you, you have to compare with the theoretical value. This one is theoretical value uh, 66 plus minus 1 Joule per Kelvin. This is the calculation for objective 2. Okay, by using the tabulated data here, for example, uh, for aluminium, you have to plot graph temperature versus time. Okay, from the graph, okay, this is the graph, you have to determine the theta m, the steps same like I mentioned uh, before this for objective 1. So this is theta m, the mixing temperature. Okay, after that, you can substitute the whole value here into equation 10 and 9 at page, page 62. Okay, so you, you will use this equation 10 to, to calculate the specific heat capacity of metals. So the CW is specific heat of water, 4.1 at 7. MW is the mass of water, 250 milliliter. CK is the specific heat of uh, calorimeter. Uh, this one is you get from objective one. The theta M from your graph minus theta one. Theta one is actually from your graph. This one is theta one, the lowest point here. Okay, next. Over MP, MP is your mass of test piece. For example, the mass for aluminium, so you put this value. Minus theta M, the theta M from your graph. Over MP, MP is the mass of test piece. For example, for aluminium, so you put this uh, value into here. Of, uh, this one times theta 2. Theta 2 is you get from this equation 9. Okay, so you just put uh, this one, just use the value given. P is, you have to measure the room pressure by using this barometer. And this barometer have two uh, units. MMHG and HPA. So please take the reading at HPA unit. Then substitute here P minus 1013 HPA. So after calculate your theta 2, substitute here and minus theta M, the theta M from your graph. Okay, after that, you calculate the C and compare with the, the theoretical data. For example, brass is 0 0.3 at 7. For aluminium, this is the theoretical 0 0.897. For the steel, 0 0.469. Okay, thank you.